positive representation of another development. The children and teens ministry of this chapel has for over three decades been shaping life, been shaping life. On the other hand, several of our have brought up have been making impact in the society. Some are doctors, engineers, lawyers, teachers, and so on. We are glad that some of them are presenting us positively. Our focus came on one of them who was once an active member of our drama team. Stay tuned as we get correspondence from Adiola, keeping it in with Adiola. Constance Amadi has always been a cheerful damsel who was passionate in the drama ministry of the Tange Church. The next witness is surprisingly a native doctor. Sorry I may not be able to pronounce his name, but let me try. Tibia Umu Okuku Ojiji. Let's hear what he has to say. She was also in the Zion Voices. She is at present making impact in Canada. I am Gift AG2 reporting for Transfiguration Studios. Let's keep let's keep it real with Adiola. My shout out today goes to a Nigerian lady in Canada making us proud. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for 24 year old Constance Amadi from River State in Nigeria, the youngest of three children. Constance and her family have been through so much since her dad died suddenly 14 years ago. She was 10 years old at the time. You know how it is when family members lay claim on your father's properties and there was nobody to fight for her mom because her mom is an orphan. This lady said to me that people go from grass to grace, but in my family, we went from grace to grass i was like oh my god that's heartbreaking she said that things became so hard for her family and it was as if all her dreams were gone but you know she did so well in secondary school that she was selected as one of the recipients of the river state sustainable development scholarship under former governor amechi so the organizers of this scholarship sent people to different countries she was sent to canada you don't get to choose where you go but she was sent to canada and of course her mom and her two brothers were so happy for her until the stipend from the nigerian government became irregular by the time she was in her second year of college she told me that due to a change in government in her state that they stopped the scholarship completely and because the government had not been regular in paying their tuition anyways they already had debt so the school started expelling people her mom couldn't afford the tuition i mean till today she's still fighting to get her husband's properties 14 years after her husband died now the only thing that saved constance was the fact that she had a's in all her subjects during her first year of college she had perfect gpa of 4.5 out of 4.5 so because of her grades she was able to qualify for some scholarships not full scholarship but she was able to get some scholarship from the school but she still had to work the good thing is she didn't have to drop out to work for one semester, go back to school for another semester like so many of her friends had to do. You know, there were so many Nigerian students that were affected at the time. There were so many of them and many of them were living in countries where they were not allowed to work off campus. So they had no choice. Many of them were expelled from their school because the Nigerian government stopped paying their tuition and they had to go back home without a degree. But you know, not only did she sponsor herself through school by working as she was going to school, she graduated 
graduated as the valedictorian. What, girl, I am so proud of her. Talk about overcoming challenges, standing tall and standing strong no matter what happens. Today, Constance is a nurse in Canada and she's able to support her mom and also save towards going to med school. She wants to be a medical doctor. And you know, I thought I would share her story with you guys today just in case someone out there is going through a tough time. You never know how strong you are, my people. You never know how strong you are, honestly, until being strong is the only thing you can be. I also like to give a huge shout out to her friend, Christy Sogway. She was the one who wrote me about Constance. She knew about her struggles, her success, and she's so proud of her friend, so much so that she wants others to know that if you don't give up, just like her friend, that great things are ahead of you. That's a great friend. Thank you so much, Christy, for telling me about Constance. Congratulations, my sister. We're so proud of you. You guys learned a lot much. Guess what? I'm just kidding. Don't touch the guy as we invite our colleague to introduce his special image. Use his special English. Don't remind us of the woman I did on a table. Today, that you won't get to read, where you say they are going for with them. And I want to start my on us soon. We don't come again this year to mark which girl's day. If they want to bring her home, we start this smile with style. If they pray a band, if you look at me, you go to say, now he be waiting with what they go on the graduates. But not be smart, you know. This will bring her home, be Dokita. Not be nothing Dokita, I will say, you don't get PhD. Now, doctor, how for you reach You get lecture for university here. Students, make you not look kind of quiet, stay joking. Uncle Morphin, come here to Lobia. I don't want to mind my day. We want to thank our Obonge Mama, Mommy J. N. Wako, for every effort which she to for which children's department. Every year, she remembers to buy gifts for us. If they are not Mama, Mommy Wiche, where every day now, she will support us with money for a week. I beg, go to the Fulana example. She did support, she, I beg God, bless her in the family. Mommy Joanne, Udo, thank you. Those of us who are still to good nights, they work for church yesterday. Now your food with church. We really get mothers for with church. Mommy, maybe I love me So I'm drinks to help us today. God bless her. Man. I beg, make on a turn on a begin. Let them know if you follow my friends. We they beg our own game of man, Papa, to make them watch their mood of their begin. The way people just they commit suicide anyhow, no they good at all. Allow our children and teenagers to the church program for Saturday and Sunday to learn about the law of humanity of God. We they see God grace one way for which rest means. Many years ago, on Gabriel and and Anti Mercy, the children ministers teachers, when they marry, okay, my daughter to the children minister teacher when they marry wife. Now, within one year. Four children teachers don't marry. We be anti social, anti boma, anti tochi, and anti precious. But I know they spare grace. So if we never marry, I don't want to contact grace. You know that. No problem, Matthew, we ask you what you're doing. Now, if you're going to make us to bring today, on a good morning for this morning, the best way to hear a voice is like diplomatic and she's so precious from translation today. On the news today, we hear the voices of Ephesians and Honest to be contented. 